Mr. Chair, Canada's oil and gas sector is in crisis, made worse by five years of bad policies, red tape and barriers to pipelines. Just in the last two months, the largest production cut in Canadian history, active rigs dropped 92 percent. Tens of thousands of oil and gas workers lost jobs, adding to the 200,000 since 2015. Energy is Canada's biggest investor and exporting can lead the recovery if there's actions, not just words. On March 25th, the finance minister promised help in, quote, hours or days, not weeks, but he's letting Canadians down. 63 days later, small oil and gas companies still can't apply for BDC loans. And last week's large employer loan terms are predatory, escalating interest rates of 14% by year five. That's payday loan rates. The required stock options at record lows could make the government the largest shareholder. That's not emergency assistance. It's pandemic profiteering. Programs can't help workers if businesses can't or won't actually get the support. These Liberals' death-by-delay tactics are doing exactly what foreign activists in other countries want, shutting down Canada's oil.